great to see the winter snow and ice get away and we can finally get out and play. David Lafour, the Director of Instruction, out at Colleton River Plantation, the 2013 Hilton Head Island PGA Player or Teacher of the Year is joining us. First of all, David, we've been talking about young people playing all day. You guys have a college event coming up as well, don't you? That's right, Bob. Uh, thanks for having me. And sure. uh, we do have uh, about eight colleges from around the country coming to Colleton River the first couple of days in March. And uh, it'll be a great event. Uh, they're going to be competing at the Die Golf Course, and uh, it's in great shape. And uh, they're really looking forward to getting down here and maybe out of the winter that they're going through. <laughs> a lot of northern schools then? Yes, yeah. Michigan State, Penn State. Uh, uh, some Midwest schools, uh, even a, a school from Seattle. So uh, wow. they're, they're coming from all over to play Colleton River. That'll be fantastic. Well, they better get their games yeah. in shape if they're coming out of the north and they're going to go right to Colleton yeah. River. Yeah, yeah, they certainly need to. Uh, you just <clears throat> got back from the PGA show, uh, and, and there not only did you get to see all the other stuff that Chris has been telling us about over the past few weeks, uh, but you went to Trackman University. Yeah, yeah, I did. I don't know if I passed, but I went. <laughs> um, you know, uh, there's a lot of things going on down at the PGA Merchandise show other than the merchandise you know there's a lot of great teaching programs great speakers you see celebrities you know Donald Trump tour players things like that all over the place uh, I chose to, to take one of my days and spend it with Trackman University at Celebration Golf Club and uh, what, a, what a great day uh, with a, a pretty international crowd learning about things that have never really been learned about in, in the history of golf so what was, let's say, David, if there was an eye-opener or two that, you know, as much as you already know about TrackMan and the things that go into that, what kind of caught your eye? Wow. Uh, you know, I can't get into too much because, you know, it, it was a pretty extensive class. Uh, but uh, simple things like, you know, hitting down on the golf ball doesn't increase the spin. Uh, things like uh, hmm. uh, the club face, I've mentioned this in the past, is four times more important than path. Uh, you know, where you're hitting the golf ball on the club face is, is a huge deal. And one of the almost depressing things that I learned was the golf ball is on the club face only two one thousandth of a second. So it, it's hard to fathom, but when I watch the Olympics and they're breaking down these time trials and things like that, and you think two, two thousandth of a second, that golf ball is not on the club face very long. Let's talk 3D motion analysis for a sec, because that's a two, um, something that we hear more and more of in golf. Could you give us a little explanation on that? Well, you know, when I'm at the merchandise show, I, I make a point of going through uh, the new invention area. You know, they've got all these uh, uh, entrepreneurs and, and uh, people that are trying to make the next best thing in golf, uh, make a go of it. And I tell you, there's some great things out there right now, especially with the smartphones and the iPads and the, and the, the, the technology that is allowing people to get feedback by themselves on the driving range, which is a big deal. The 3D motion analysis is a literally a 3D hologram of your golf swing. Wow. You can overlay a tour player on top of you mm -hmm. and you okay. can compare your swing to their swing. And not that you need to be a tour player, but uh, it's very convicting when you get into those 3D motions and you realize that you're not quite there yet. And when, when does TrackMan become a smartphone app? Yeah. It, well, is that next? <laughs> you know what? Believe it or not, yeah. they have it. Ah, there we go. <laughs> and they have the wireless. And uh, it was quite a kick using eight of those TrackMans with everybody's iPhone or iPad and looking at all the data at Celebration Golf Club to kind of see what's going on. Well, David, as always, we appreciate your input on this, and I know we didn't get to talk about everything we want to, and we're going to have you back real soon to talk about some of this other stuff, but that's all the time we have for this week, unfortunately. Right. It, it, it goes quick. So quickly. <laughs> for Bob Stevens, I'm PGA professional Chris Trembley. Thank you so much for joining us. We'll see you next time right here on Golf Center.